Okay, so I'm going to start with a block with threads on it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a, I want to split this body. Um, you could do this in a couple of different ways, maybe by building a surface or something around it if you didn't want to split all the way through. But in this case, I'm just going to quickly sketch a circle on the face, snap to the center, and then I'll bring it out a little bit bigger than the threads. And now what I can do is I can come into Modify, Split Body, pick the body, and for the tool, I'll pick that sketch. And basically what that's going to do is split the body. So now if you look in the Bodies folder right now, I have two bodies. So I can apply Scale to a single body. So now what I'll do is I'll grab Modify, Scale, I'll pick this body right here that represents the threads. And I could do non-uniform and maybe just go in the X and Y. Might be better. Otherwise I could just maybe, if I'll just do this quick, I'll do this. Say, now to get the center point, I could just turn on one of these sketches, grab that center point. That's kind of the key right there is to have a point so that that way my scale is going to happen kind of uniformly around the threads. Make this say 1.5. Again, so like I said, if I had a or 1.2 maybe, if I had a, I could do just X and Y, and I wouldn't end up with those things at the bottom. But sometimes I just kind of feel like I don't care, and I'll just take uh, now I'll take these two things, combine them. Now I'm back to just one body in the tree, and if I want to obviously get rid of this. I can just pick that face, hit the delete key, and just not think about it. So now you basically have um, the result that I believe is what you were looking for, which is sort of like a uniformly scaled just around the threads. So if we roll back before the scale, and then scale up. So I'm not sure if that'll work for you, but uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks.